we had a flood uh, just end of it, very end of April here at the mission, which did a lot of damage uh, to the equipment in our basement. We lost 10 freezers and three fridges and parts of our boiler, a hot water tank, laundry machines, sound equipment. Today, we have uh, good news though. We are opening uh, our doors again to the public after being closed for three weeks. Um, it's exciting. We, we actually are opening a week earlier than we had anticipated opening. And so uh, that's not just exciting for us, uh, but exciting for the people we serve uh, who have, uh, I, won't, I won't say they've had to go without, we've, we've had other agencies in the area who have just sort of uh, shouldered some extra responsibility while we've been closed and taking care of uh, the people we normally serve. But we're excited to, to be welcoming them back through our doors. And we know uh, this is happening largely because of the generous support of people who uh, came around us and donated financially and, and, and made phone calls to see how they could help. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a testimony and uh, um, certainly it, it has us feeling uh, very grateful and valued uh, by, by the people who uh, came and just flooded us with support after our flood of water. You definitely get the sense that, that people believe in what you're doing when, when a crisis like this happens and people take action to relieve uh, your distress.